So is everybody ready? At Tablespoons Bakery on Richmond's South Side. Thumbs up if you're ready to start. They're rolling out the red carpet. Pour, pour it all in, that's awesome. right. Very good. For what might be the sweetest zoo meeting in Central Virginia. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna make you guys some edible cookie dough. The bakery is teaming up with Jacob's Chance. See any chunks of butter? Nope, I don't. <laughs> the nonprofit helps teens and young adults with disabilities ah! flourish through a variety of activities <laughs> like in-person and online enrichment classes. Somebody else just joined. We're really excited to do a vocational program on uh, making edible cookie dough. On this day, the virtual group is learning from tablespoons baking experts what? like Kimani Turton Jones. I am Kimani. I am a baker and a salesman. Kamani is one of our um, bakers and he is really great at talking through the steps of what's happening when you're baking because there's a lot of chemistry in that. We started this uh, when COVID first hit. Kate Mardigan, the founder of Jacob's Chance says, <laughs> the one hour sessions steer members through dance, art, music, in culinary courses. We're well-rounded because we are hitting every aspect of life, whether it's fitness, sometimes we do language. Are we ready to go on? Give me a thumbs up if you're good with your butter and your sugar being mixed together. Kate says these classes help grow independence one cookie, song, or painting at a time. If they can go into the kitchen and do it and say, no, mom, I've got this, go in the other room, you know, that, that's a confidence builder. The nonprofit is named after Jacob Leonard, the son of Kate's friend who lived with severe disabilities during his short life. Every single day I walk into my office, I see that awesome smiling face right there, and I know that I'm doing exactly what I'm supposed to do. Kate says Jacob lives on in every person who joins the group. Good job, Katie. Working away. The enrichment classes offered year-round also connect people who otherwise would be isolated. Lots of laughter going on. Um, lots of questions, very good questions being asked, but lots of silliness. Perfect, good job. Tablespoons Kelsey Dunn says accepting the invite to partner with Jacob's Chance was an easy decision. Also, there's just the opportunity for us to come together as a community, make new friends, foster friendships. These two groups are proving teamwork makes the cookie work. Well, we pulled it off. <laughs> we did, we pulled it off. Woo! In this no-bake course. Pretty sweet, so you might not want to eat a whole bunch of it in one sitting. <laughs> Flour, butter, sugar, and salt are essential. I'm gonna let you guys enjoy some of the cookie dough. But the main ingredients at Jacob's Chance is a pinch of love and a cup of inclusion. Well, that just about wraps up the recipe for the edible cookie dough. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to start cleaning. We're removing boundaries and making sure that every opportunity is available for those we serve. For Heroes Among Us. That's good. I'm Greg McQuaid. Very nice. CBS 6 News.